So once I got back to it, I just used the handy summary card to go through the steps. I took off the tape off the feet, uh, put the strap on, uh, loosened, not fully take off. I don't want to fully take them off. I just want to loosen them so I can shift the parts into my hand. Thankfully, this one was a lot easier than the traditional, uh, the classic, the Azeron classic. This one was very simple. Um, oh, and the thumbstick? Oh my gosh, that had so much like freedom of rotation for adjustments. Um, after that, I just went to the website, downloaded the software, and um, launched it. And then I had to plug in the Azeron Syro. The order in which you launch the software for the first time and plug in your device might uh, it might give you different results because I already had an Azeron product. So hopefully it's nice and smooth for you. Once the software is all set up and everything, you actually want to reset your PC. That's, that's something that I completely forgot. And it's not, uh, they don't say it up front, but you're going to have to restart your PC. But as far as the software, it's so nice because over like the different iterations that I've, you know, seen them add and everything like that, all the features, like the simplicity of just taking a pre-existing mapped button and just clicking and dragging it to a new spot and swapping places with another key. That's brilliant. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. The Syro has a new feature, as far as I'm aware, called Profile Switch. When you press the button and use the scroll wheel, you're going to scroll through the onboard profiles. I thought it was just going to be like maybe one or two profiles. No, it's all six. Also, another thing, when I saw the 16,000 CPI, I was comparing that to what I thought my previous mouse had like 24,000 CPI on it. Turns out it was only 2,400, so I sent that, I sent up the sensitivity all the way to 16,000. I was asking myself, why the heck am I having such a hard time controlling this? Turns out I just made it like 10 times more sensitive. So, of course, I just brought it back to the settings that I'm used to, and it was working like a breeze. Also, the angle of the hand, when you're handling it, you can go into the settings and change that. For me, it felt a little off at first, but I'm starting to get used to it, so I think I'll actually leave it. So as far as the actual device itself, how it feels and everything, of course, you know, the grip, oh my gosh. You're going to have to feel it for yourself. This, that was, uh, I wasn't ready for it at first. The buttons feel decent. They're not, um, of course, like the classic, where it's got more like a mouse click to it. It's more like a, a stiffer keyboard kind of feel. It's hard to describe. They're not overly loose. You don't have to worry about feathering the wrong button and all of a sudden you press the wrong button. You don't have to worry about that. As far as my personal experience of how my fingers wrap around to get to those buttons, it felt like my fingers naturally wanted to spread a little bit more, which is, of course, one of the critical features of the Azeron Classic and some of the others, such as the um, the Compact and the Cyborg, they actually let you spread the fingers out fan-wise and stretch them out. Which, you know, this Azeron Syro is it's just the first iteration. I imagine that maybe down the line they'll have different iterations where they'll be able to adjust the layout of the buttons themselves in some shape or form. That's kind of like their trademark at this point. I don't want to speak on their behalf, but that's just what I've been seeing. So why did I want the Azeron Syro? Well, of course, I'd have to explain why I got the Azeron Classic to begin with. For me, personally, I was transitioning from console to PC, and when I was doing that, it was such a hard transition. By the time I actually got used to it, I had heard about the Azeron Classic, and I thought I'd give it a go, especially because I was learning some 3D modeling and animation stuff. I was very self-conscious of how I would look at the screen, 
think of what I need to do, then I would look at the keyboard, find the key that I would need to hit, and then I would just hit the keyboard while I was looking at the keyboard. Then I had to look back up at the monitor and do this whole cycling of look at the keyboard and then click on the keyboard, look up back up at the monitor. And it was very inefficient. And then I heard getting one of those 12 button uh, mouses, the mouses that have 12 buttons on the side, that that upped people's efficiencies dramatically because they didn't have to look at their hands all the time. And that made sense to me. So I went uh, and got the Azeron Classic instead because it just looked cooler, of course. But something I didn't realize until I was actually using it is realizing that the 12 button mouse, you're only navigating those 12 buttons with your thumb. And you only have that one reference point in the middle to tell you where you are. With the Azeron Classic, you do not have to navigate 12 buttons with just one finger. You're navigating 16 plus buttons with four fingers. So that divides up the responsibilities of each finger. It sounds so simple, but it is a fundamental difference. So now that I established that, why did I get the Syro? Well, of course, I want more buttons. <laughs> There's that, but also because every time I was looking at reviews for the Azeron Classic, Compact, uh, Cyborg, there would always be someone in the comments asking, hey, is there any way that I can uh, use this as a mouse as well? Because uh, someone would say, I have a daughter that suffered a terrible accident. She only has one hand and I want her to be able to play games. And of course, who wouldn't? And the community is so great. People would be in the sub comments, like giving advice of what, you know, they could do for a workaround. Because before this, you had to have the Azeron product with a separate mouse. And people would try to think of different ways of how to make workarounds, like making the analog stick, the cursor. Anyways, this solves that problem. Of course, you can play video games while eating with the other hand too. That's the other selling point. But there's definitely a market for this and there's people that need something like this in their life. So of course, I wanted to show my support as best as I could. So I went and pre-ordered the thing as soon as I could. Which reminds me, they do have a Discord community where they announce new products, things that they're planning on doing, events, and there's always people in there that if you can't get in touch with someone directly at the company, there's usually someone in the community that can answer your your questions because they've seen it all, of course. So my thoughts on the Azeron Syro, I'm really liking it. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to map these these buttons for my convenience and everything. It's the cost of... Um, putting in the mental work of mapping out your key binds so that you don't have to think about it anymore past that. Because for me with the Azeron Classic, once I had it all set up, I, I spent like three or four days like experimenting or like mentally like thinking what would be the most efficient way to set the key binds. And I went with those for like a year and it, it felt so, it felt so naturally after that. So I can only imagine once I have the Azeron Classic and the Azeron Syro together, it's going to be like I'm not even going to have to think about anything anymore. I'd be able to have the entire keyboard on my fingers. They even have like double click feature, holds down the button features to do different inputs. I just keep to just the simple single click. I just try not to overcomplicate it. If you want to try it, go for it. But I... I recommend just starting off basic and then get into that stuff if you want to. I'm probably going to try to make some keybinds on the Syro for both on its own and with the Classic, just so I can make some videos of playing games and doing stuff with just the Syro and just put the caption of winning a game with, with only one hand. That's going to be a huge selling point with uh, thumbnails and everything like that. So yeah, I'll, I think I'll make like a review 
past like a few months to give my thoughts on what I think about it at that point. But as far as first impressions, I'm already loving it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your patience watching my actual first video on YouTube. This is a huge deal for me. Like I said, I wanted to show my support for this effort that the Azeron people are trying to pursue. And I want to thank you for going through this journey with me. And I hope to see you later on in this journey. Stay safe and God bless.